They won't support this job. Hey, Samara! Someone finally watched your video again, huh? I haven't heard from you in a hot minute. Are you... Are you crying? You, you, you couldn't have messed up that bad. What's, what's going on? Reverse? I... I I can't reverse the curse, Samara. I mean, you're the one that made it. It, it, it. Someone watches your video, you call them and say seven days, and then after seven days, you come out of the TV and, and, and you take them out. That's how you get back. Samara, who watched your video? Dean? What is, what is Dean's last name? Um... I mean, you're the one that made the curse, Samara. What what happens if the person that watches your video kills you? Hey, Dean, it's John of Villain Support. Um, yeah, this is about the video you watched and the phone call you got after that said seven days. Um, I know you've been calling that number back and counting down like six days, five days. And I, I, I know you called today and said one day. And look, Samara is just, yeah, her name is Samara. She's really stressed out, man. I was, I was hoping that you could, Dean, hold on. Okay. She had a really rough life, okay? Her mother abandoned her in a well. And that's why you see like the circle, the ring on the video. Um, this is her spirit's way of lashing back out at the mortal world. It's a pretty normal reaction for someone who died as a kid. Look, so when she comes out of the TV tomorrow, could could you just let her get close to you and scare you and just pretend to die? I I I know you hunt demons normally, but could you just do me a favor this time and let this one go? Jesus, you guys, how many freaking burner phones do you have? Hey Sam, it's John of Villain Support. I need your help with your brother. He he didn't do anything yet, per se, but I just, I, I, I need your help convincing him to show mercy to the, this, this poor cursed girl spirit. Okay. I mean, he's, he's actively ruining her afterlife. Well, he, he I, I, I know the call he got said seven days. He's been calling back, counting the days down and she's freaking out. So I just, I need your help. Just, I, we just need to convince him to show her some mercy. You know, maybe he could pretend to die when she comes out of the TV to scare him. And she'd be sad. If I tell you where the remains are, will, will you will, will, will you help me with this? Look, if you guys got to burn the bones when it's all said and done, then you got to burn the bones. But just help me out here, okay? Phil and support this, John. Samara, how did you? What 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 happened with what happened with Dean? In his cell phone? That's genius! Oh, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Um, so listen, I was digging into what you could do if you managed to survive. And you want to get to Chicago. Find a guy named Mortimer Lindquist. He can speak to spirits. Explain your whole backstory. You're a child. You had a horrible life. You're a spirit. You're in trouble. You need to find a guy named Harry Dresden. Okay? They don't need to know about all the killing you've done. Just that you're a child in trouble. Dresden's a powerful wizard. If anybody, anybody can handle the Winchesters, it's going to be Dresden. And because you're a kid in trouble, he will fight to the death to protect you. All right? Just get going. Trust me. Okay, Dean. So you're tracking a curse video. What kind? Is her name Sadako by chance? Samara, how did she wind up in the cell phone network? Why did you record it? Okay, so Dresden's there? Awesome. Just make sure he stays outside. We don't want him getting too close to your phone and short-circuiting Samara out of existence. So the guys that are looking for her, they're going to show up in a classic black Impala. All right? They're both very handsome. You'll recognize they're there now. Okay, just make sure Dresden holds them off. I'm trying to figure out where else we can send Samara. Um, if they get to be too much, just tell Harry, set the Impala on fire. Set the Impala on fire? Worry about your own calls, Levi. Hey, Dean. What's... Who tried to set Baby on fire? John!
What? You kept me in the dark? No. Not completely. You are so lucky he didn't actually set Baby on fire. Yet. Mortimer, time to light it up again. This time we're... What? Really? A very powerful Fae and Ebenezer McCoy just showed up to support Dresden, and the Winchesters have friends arriving, too. Oh, crap. Dean, watch out for satellites. And who else is there with you? Rowena and Cass just showed up. Who's next? Chuck? Mortimer, those two are an angel and an uber witch. We're about to have West Side Ghost Story outside your house. Um, you, you know what? Send Samara's video direct to me. Are you getting involved personally? Yep. Okay, Mortimer, I got her. Go ahead and delete the video off your phone. Um, well, she's my customer. Murder of innocents, etc. I know Dresden's going to be pissed, but just don't let him burn the car. Okay, I'll explain everything. Okay, look, Samara ultimately wants to be at rest, all right? And Sam, Dean, before you ask, there are no bones to burn, all right? We have to destroy the tapes. Hold up, did you just say tapes with an S? Yes, I said tapes with an S. Okay, wait a minute. I thought the cult was only allowed to have one. How'd they make more, John? It's a long story, okay? But, but, but there are clients, and I can't knowingly give them up. Hey, calm down, everybody, okay? We have policies and procedures that I have to follow. So what? Sorry, kid. I'd love to help. It's not personal. It's just business. Well, I'm... Okay, look, okay? They are... Oh, four days behind on a bill. You know what? Fuck them. Dresden, Winchesters, you guys want to take off some cultists? Give Samara the afterlife she deserves? Dave, why are we four days behind on our Have an Acme Day payments? Four days behind? That doesn't make any sense, Danny. I've got that on auto pay. Remember we had that bank fraud last week and our card number changed? Could that be it? I, I bet I forgot to change. I'll log on to the portal right now and I'll take care of it, okay? Thank you, Dave. All right, bye. Account not found? What the? Uh, Dave, this is Jack. Yes, Jack. Uh, there's a wizard and two demon hunters at the front door. A wizard and two demon hunters? Yeah. Uh, is, is it Halloween? Uh, I mean, I, I didn't wear a costume today. What, what, what do they want? They want the Samara tapes. <laughs> what do you want me to do? I want you to tell them to piss off. That's what I want you to do. Uh, the wizard just started setting things on fire. How did everything go with the cultist hideout? Of course, it's a smoldering ruin. Look, Dean, just get used to it. Dresden's just like you. He's sarcastic and he burns things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, Samara, are you about ready? All we got left is to delete your video and then you can rest. Actually, John, before you do that, the fact that she can be transferred digitally is incredibly convenient. We could use a courier like her. Yeah, but... She doesn't come out of the screen for seven days, and then she kills... Mortimer, are you there? Dresden can rewrite a curse, right? He can... Wait, no, he can't be near electronics. Um... Levi, what, what about what about the Winchester's demon friend? Crowley, but you see, he's a crossroads demon. He could do it, but I'm gonna owe him. I suppose I'll do it for Samara, if she's interested. Uh-huh. Samara, you want to work for Acme? Hey, John, why won't Samara take my calls? Napa, she's not taking anybody's calls anymore. With, with her being in the system now, it's she can hear everything that we say. It's easier for her to communicate in emojis. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh, uh, Samara, wherever you are, can you get me a cup of coffee? J John, she, she flicked me off! Samara? We talked about workplace etiquette. No more middle fingers, please, okay? <laughs> that was awesome. That was not awesome. Hey, Levi. I, uh, 
I heard you had to have a smooching session with Crowley to fix Samara's curse. <laughs> yeah, that's how deals with crossroads demons work, Napa. <laughs> Levi and Crowley sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. I know where your shrine to Vegeta is. One more word, and I'll send pictures to Bulma. Now I gotta move the shrine again. <laughs>